Fox News at 4, watching out for you. Now at 4, with Oregon's mask mandate set to end March 31st, local school districts are deciding whether to keep the requirement in place. Today, we're hearing from the first school district that's made a decision. Welcome to Queen 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Dean Tilkin. And I'm Jenny Hansen. We sent Lisa Balick to ask tough questions about the changing guidelines. She joins us live with more on which school district is the first to announce changes. Lisa. Yeah, we found out today the Newburgh School District is the first that's saying it is dropping the mask requirements starting April 1st. Now, they say they will still strongly recommend them, but they will not require masks for anybody inside the schools in the school district in Newburgh. Now, mask weariness definitely happening everywhere. People are just tired of wearing the mask, especially with the pandemic peak now going down. We're hearing from retailers back in the business of having to be the mask police again, though. You may have noticed a lot more people not wearing a mask when they go in shops and grocery stores, even though it's still required by Oregon and Washington. Now, several store owners tell me some customers are saying COVID is over, even getting belligerent once again. In the past couple weeks, um, we've just had a lot of yelling, I would say. Um, in the past, we've had people actually throw coffee and like ruin books. Um, when you ask them to put a mask on? Yes. Meanwhile, workplaces that have gotten lax about masking are still being investigated by the state. I checked with the state today and found out they are issuing citations still. So far, more than 200 citations statewide have been issued since COVID started, and most of these who they were issued to are not appealing. The state, by the way, is collecting some big money from some of these hefty fines. I'll have more on that coming up today at 5. Live in Oregon City, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Lisa.